want to see inside a $25,000 a night mansion for rent? Well, stay tuned. We're headed to Scotland to check out the world-class Dunsky Estate. So when I received this invitation to go check out the Dunsky Estate in Scotland, I thought it was a joke. I had heard about the Dunsky Estate and how enormous and incredible it is, and I couldn't believe it. So when I found it, it was a real invitation and that I could go and get some inspiration and ideas for Hopwood Hall Estate, I thought I have to do this. So I road tripped up to Scotland to check things out. I'm here at Dunsky Estate and this is so beautiful and I'm going to first meet Ailey Bennett who is from Story Collection and she's going to walk me in and show me the house but it is so exciting to see this with a beautiful Scottish countryside out here. This house is 25 bedrooms, something like 24 bathrooms, multiple kitchens, absolutely huge. So let's go check it out. Welcome to Scotland. Wow, this is incredible. So when I see Ailey's familiar face in Scotland, it's very fun and exciting because she is just a bundle of energy and she is from Scotland. So she knows all of the locals and the local lore and is a real expert on all things Scottish. So it's a lot of fun to see her and she's a great ambassador for Storied Collection and knows everything about the properties and has great relationships with all the owners, so she's just the perfect tour guide. At Story Collection, we're building a membership of exclusive use historic properties across the UK and Ireland. And we're really focusing on telling the incredible stories behind these properties. Storied Collection provides the possibility of guests coming and staying in a historic accommodation or a castle and having an experience of a lifetime, which is absolutely incredible. As I'm walking up to Dunsky, I am just blown away. It's completely jaw-dropping. It is so beautiful, such a huge, expansive house. It is incredible. I just can't even believe this place exists. And the closer I get and the more details I see, just hundreds of windows, beautiful ivy growing, a big front door. It just looks storybook. My name is uh, Alastair Orr Ewing, and uh, my um Great-grandfather Charles O'Ewing uh, bought this estate and built this house in 1900, but he bought it off my great-grandmother's family, so it's been in the family since about 1650. I just love the, the, the nature here and the, what's beautiful about this estate. It's 2,000 acres, it sounds a lot, but in Scotland that's not particularly big. It just has such a variety here of woodlands and lochs and the beaches and the cliffs and the hilltops, uh, all within really quite a small area. And so I just love that about it. I think it's a, an exceptionally beautiful spot in the world. As we're strolling through the drawing room, I'm looking at all the antiques and the beautiful portraits of the family hanging along the walls, lining the hallways. It is absolutely spectacular. And seeing Alistair's great-great-grandfather staring across the room at the portrait of his great-great-grandmother is such a unique, romantic spot to be in, to see their gazes across the room. And the fact that he is here giving us a private tour and explaining the details of his family and everything that has happened there is very, very special. When I walk into the billiard room, my mind is spinning. I am so excited about this and immediately inspired of having a room like this in Hopwood Hall someday. The cabinetry, the fireplace, the architecture is absolutely beautiful. And the huge billiard table in the middle of the room, which is the focal point. I just couldn't believe it. I can completely imagine people there playing pool into the late night and early mornings. It really is one of those very inviting and unique spaces that is a place that would draw people into it at any hour of the day. What a beautiful spot. Well, I know there's so many different rooms to see, so much yeah. of the house. I'd love to also see some of the bedrooms. Should we go up there now? Yeah, should Come we check then. that out? Let's do that. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. Incredible. Every room is different. You're right, every single room is different. The 25 bedrooms in the Dunsky estate are all unique and different and very much one of a kind. They're all large and spacious with comfortable beds and full baths. They have completely redone the bathrooms. It is just a place that you want to curl up in a comfortable bed, take a nice warm bath with a glass of wine or a cup of tea, read a book. It really is an at-home feeling. Of course, this is somebody else's house, but you're immediately drawn in and feeling like you own the place. And what do we have in here? But look at these nice robes with a Dunsky Estate logo on it. Very thick and plush. Everybody who knows me knows I'm a sucker for a good robe. So this is something we're definitely going to have to do at Hobbit Hall. And nice thick towels. This is key. And look at these. Really nice shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel. We definitely have to have that for Hopwood Hall. And the thing is, the smell is divine of the shower gel. Let's see, the shower gel is this one. Ooh, great fruity. <laughs> Of course, anytime you're staying in a huge house like this and there's portraits and antiques and things all over the place, creaks and moans and sounds that you don't know where they're coming from, you start to wonder if there is a ghost around. I can't help but keep looking over my shoulder, just wondering, is there a spirit there? Is there not? So when we see the couch start to move, it makes my heart start to race. Why is that moving? It's just moving. That's a ghost. That was a ghost. That was a ghost. We just saw a we ghost. Just two, a ghost. Two ghosts just got up. Is my dog under that? <laughs> no, did you see that? <laughs> that was I mean, really bizarre. I didn't literally know. I two. Was doing it again. No, no. Somebody's just. What is that? <laughs> it's like ghosts are sitting down and getting yeah. up off of this thing. That is really bizarre. I've never seen that before. When Alistair points at an old couch and says this is an original piece of furniture where his ancestors would have sat, and we look down and all of a sudden you see where the couch is a bit sunken, all of a sudden raises up. And then next to it raises up again. It looks like someone has just gotten up. Some weight has been lifted from this sofa. And my heart starts racing. I'm sweating. I'm thinking, we've just seen a ghost. What is happening here? But of course, we realize it is the dog, Harriet. My dog. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Harriet Beecher Stowe, you had a scared to death. <laughs> oh my gosh, my heart was <laughs> racing. <laughs> I've never seen it where like a ghost just got up because all of a sudden it just lifted up. That was weird. I hope you got that on film. <laughs> Being part of Storied Collection is really exciting and seeing many of the houses and castles, estates throughout the UK. So it has been a real learning experience to participate and work with this company and seeing many of the properties that they represent, how those properties run themselves, how they make revenue to keep with the upkeep, the staffing, the maintenance costs, it's just enormous. With a big place like this, there's just no way that you can rattle around living in a place like this anymore. Those days are long gone. So, um, uh, and of course the maintenance bill is quite high. So you've got to work out some way to, to get a revenue if you want to, to uh, look after a place like this. I think we did our first wedding in 2017 and it happened to be an American destination wedding, three day thing. And uh, we'd never heard of that before but it kind of worked quite well, so we thought that could be an interesting route to go. And um, it's, it's, we all got prepared just before the pandemic hit, everything was ready to go, and then we had to stop, so that was a bit of a, a drawback. But since then, uh, it's, been, um, it's, it's worked very well. We have mainly American groups coming here for three-day events. Most of them are weddings, but there are also book retreats and 
uh, wellness retreats and we've had um, uh, documentary making retreats here uh, and uh, corporate retreats as well. The staff at Dunsky is top of the heap. They are so attentive. We met everybody who helps run it. And what's really fun is that it is many members in the community, multi-generational, many family members, all people who have worked there for many years and love their jobs. They can't wait to go to work. And you really get a strong sense of the community there and how it is a big family, everybody working together to power the estate, just like it would have been for hundreds of years. So this is exciting to see for Hopwood Hall, to think about how we need to staff and run Hopwood Hall in the same way. You want to have very happy people working there, excited to help the guests, and passionate about their jobs. We all work together as a team. If I'm struggling because I'm really busy, that everybody helps and vice versa. I can help in the house as well when we have big events. Um, but we all know each other's jobs and we all work together to make things work, make it a really, really good customer experience. I started off um, housekeeping and um, I've worked my way up and I'm now a first generation manager, um, which I really, really enjoy. It has been a process. Um, planning right the way through and it just it all falls together it's always lovely so i'm here with linda head of housekeeping and linda you are going to teach me something that i don't know <laughs> i know everything is attention to detail here at dunsky very it. meticulous and so what exactly are we going to be doing we're going to polish the glasses so they're nice and clean okay so how do we do this so you lift your stem Okay. You don't actually touch either part. But you grab it by the stem, right? Okay. And you steam it. And then you, you literally... Steam it. Oh, because yes. this is hot water here. You so you're, ho you're holding this over really hot water. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, okay. So and then you're literally just like polishing. And when you need to go inside the glass, you turn. Learning how to steam dishes. Now, I never thought this would even enter my realm. I didn't even know that people did this, but now that I've seen the top level that they run at Dunsky, steaming every single glass is incredible, and I don't see how we can do anything less than that at Hopwood Hall. So I realize how much work we have ahead of us, not just to get through the renovation and restoration of Hopwood Hall, but also what we're going to have to do on a daily basis to run the estate. Not sure. And that's done. I don't yes. see a fingerprint on it. Well done. I might have a job in my future, Linda. <laughs> yes, come and we'll hire you. <laughs> So just when I'm thinking that the day is done and I've seen pretty much everything there is to see and how much better could it get, they inform me, no, there's activities for me to do. So here I am out in the archery field shooting arrows and absolutely loving it, feeling free as a bird. And then I'm handed an ax to do ax throwing, which I have never done. And I'm loving it. You know, everybody's ducking and going to the sides. I think everybody's afraid I'm going to slip and throw an ax in their direction. But it sure is fun. And to actually hit the bullseye of the ax throw is really cool. So I'm pulling back the arrow in the archery, aiming at this balloon. And I'm thinking, there's no way I'm going to hit this. And all of a sudden, pop. It hits the balloon and I'm just thinking, yes, I have done it. Maybe I have some English blood in me after all. <laughs> so it's been a great day. I'm loving it. We went out into the forest looking for our own mushrooms with the resident mushroom forager, as you would have, and many other staff members. Wow, what a top-notch, A-level, five-star experience. They know how to do it. This was like stepping into a different realm of reality. People live like this. They have their own private mushroom forager. I love it. Here in Scotland and the UK, the majority of mushrooms will grow under beech, um, sometimes pine, um, but um, hardwoods are um, pretty typical. Um, and that there's a process in which the mushroom um, connects with the trees underground and that is um, 
it's called mycorrhizal, where the mushrooms attach to the tree uh, roots and communicate with the trees. So the mushrooms uh, essentially wow. give the trees um, uh, things that they need like nitrogen, and then the trees in turn feed the mushrooms simple sugars that they use to create the mushroom. They have different colors, so um, you can take it home and put it on a piece of tin foil um, and um, wait for the spores to drop. And that way it helps you identify uh, certain mushrooms as well. So wow. they, um, certain ones will have um, like a really bright spore color or, um, and that um, really determines, um, will help you identify more specific species. I think we need a mushroom forager at Hopwood Hall, although that might have to be me. <laughs> but it's a great idea and very fun and really exciting for the guests to go out and dig around in the forest and find these fresh mushrooms that are later going to be prepared by this award-winning chef into your very lovely meal. And just as I'm thinking the sun is setting, they inform me we are going to jump into the truck and head down to the coast to pick up the fresh lobster that is headed toward us in a boat. I'm here with Dave, the head chef, and what are we here to do, Dave? We're here to pick up lobsters for this evening's dinner. Fresh lobsters fresh here lobsters. in the harbor. I yep. love this. Okay, yep. so how often do you get fresh lobster from here? Uh, depending on the clientele, but usually once a week. We'll really? Fresh wow. Lobsters, yeah. And you just come down here just and... Come down here, or Tony will bring them up to the, the, the house, uh, depending on what's, uh, what suits both of us, because right. uh, obviously we're not the only people that he supplies. Right. All okay, right, and here he is. All right. <laughs> here he comes. Wow, with the fresh lobster. You are kidding me. Super. Oh my gosh. And the food. Oh my gosh, the food at Dunsky. Wow. I can't stop from eating. I can't help myself. I just keep digging in and they keep bringing out more courses and another course and I quickly polish that off and another course and another course and another glass of wine and this and that. And suddenly I'm feeling like I've gained 150 pounds but it is well worth it because the food at Dunsky is so good. Wow, what an <laughs> incredible house. I'm just so amazed. As I walk through here and see all of the details that you've done and you've mm. focused on and your staff and the food and everything, there's such an attention to detail. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you have any advice for me as I'm starting out at Hopwood Hall with a grand vision of trying to have a place like this. Mm -hmm. Any words of advice? <laughs> <laughs> or where do I start? I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to start there. I mean, you know, fortunately for you, you're, you're, you're really starting from scratch, aren't you? So I think getting the M&E right, the, the heating and, and right. um, lighting and all those sort of things is, is gonna be very, very important for you. Yeah. And uh, you know, I wish in some ways that we'd done more effort on, on that side of things. So. In, in this old place, the heating is either on or off, basically. So right. I think individual control in rooms is very important. And, um, and uh, I think that um, uh, you, can, you can achieve a lot in the, the design of these rooms that just gives it the right feel. Mm -hmm. and that's all down to my wife's um, interior decoration, even though she's never trained to do that. But, really? Uh, yeah, wow. We've sort of made it up as we go, go along, based on what we would like to stay in, I think. And, that, and I think that's the answer. Put your own personal touch to it. And then people will feel that it's a more personalized place rather than some sort of too glitzy. I, th I don't think that's the way to go at all, I think. Well, it feels like a home. It feels very comfortable. You walk in, you immediately feel like you are home. Like you could put your bags down here mm -hmm. and just casually put your feet up and have a drink and Exactly. chat with people and you've got so many different breakout areas and places to talk mm. and hang out and uh, it's just incredible. If you'd like to book the Dunsky Estate, check it out. You can look at their website. They're available for exclusive hire for weddings, events, gatherings, you name it. They will rent it to you and you will have an experience of a lifetime. If you enjoy these videos, please like, share, subscribe and click the bell to be alerted about our latest content. And if you'd like to see more of our videos, please join us on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. Hey, favorites. 
Thank you for hanging until the very end. If you'd like to read my book called Downton Shabby from HarperCollins, it is a story about Hopwood Hall. It's available for purchase online. Thank you so much.